Hello guys, welcome back to the my YouTube channel. This is Sakil and you are watching Code Civil Dance. Today I come up with the new hacker rank problem which you will not find in the practice test but it usually comes in the examinations. So I thought to solve this problem for you. Uh, problem name is as given longest even words. Problem statement I will go through. Uh, consider a string sentence of the word separated by space which each word is subtracting uh, su substring consisting of English alphabet letters only find the first word in the sentence that has the length which is both an even number and greater than or equal to the length of other word of even length in the sentence if there are multiple word meeting the criteria return the one which occur first in the sentence let's go through the example so that we can have a clear idea what actually it is uh, what actually is the problem so you you will be given a sentence and each sentence have only english alphabet including uppercase and lowercase it doesn't contain any numbers so we need to find the word which has length in even and the maximum maximum length means uh, i'll take the example of this sentence time to write great code here time to and the code these are the word which length is even otherwise right and great has a five five length, length of five so it's odd so out of these we have to return the string which has a maximum length but in this scenario time and code both having a same length means four and four so as per the problem statement we need to return those string which having maximum length and occurring uh, first occurrence means the this uh, a time is uh, occurrence is first and code is coming say at the second position but both has a equal length so we have to return this okay if there is no criteria matching then we need to return zero zero so string the word that is the first occurrence of star string with the maximal maximal even number length or the string zero zero if there is no even length words so this is something about the statement problem statement and uh, let me walk you through the implementation so i have created uh this uh, method for you and in the hacker and if you will go through the actual examination you will get the uh, you will get the all this code so you don't need to worry about as uh, actually i uh, this is not available for practice so that i thought to uh, write in the visual studio code a uh, visual studio for you and uh, then uh, I, i'll implement it okay so here uh, uh, I'll uh, uh, expand this uh, main class here what I did I, I just created one simple string and uh, hard code the value I'm calling this method and passing this uh, string and uh, it uh, this method is returning some value which I which I am storing in the result and the uh, and in the console dot try uh, I'm trying to write the result on the screen and uh, the uh, i used three different uh, sentence to test the all the scenario uh, whether it is passing or not so uh, i i'll go through the code and i'm uh, now i'm trying uh, i'll go um, i will be writing the code okay so first sentence we are getting it, this is in accent text so we need to convert into the word so there is a method available in CSA programming language which I will be using here so sentence dot split 
split and it requires one delimiters means separator i'll pass the space because as per the specification sentence will be a space separated so wherever i'll get the space it means it is this is the end of one word and the starting of the another word so using this method sentence dot split we will separate the all the word and store into the string array fine i have to check whether this sentence has even length of word or not so i am declaring one more boolean variable found even word and initially i am making it false okay also i need to track the index okay and initial time it will be a zero one more variable i need max length so that i can track which word has maximum length again it would be a zero now it's time to look through the all element from beginning to str array dot length till the end of the string and i plus plus usually if you are familiar with the code according a standard this is the format to use the for loop okay it will look through the all the element and now we got the first element if str array of i means first index the value currently i is pointing to zero so that i'm saying it's first index of the first index of uh, of the array okay dot length i need to find the length to check whether this word length is uh, even or odd for the uh, even to check the even we having this ampersand sign and divide uh, to equal equal zero it will decide the whatever the length of the word is given is even or not if it is even then again one more check we need to do but we but we need not only one two and max length if max length is equal to zero if max length is equal to zero or st let me add this space so that i can get str array of i dot length greater than max length okay and i'll separate with the or i'm checking string array of the index i length modular 2 is equal is equal to 0 this this will determine whether the string length is even or odd we actually we need to think only about the even which is odd we don't need to consider so just i'm coming to the point and the second parameter second condition we need to consider array dot length is a maximum length so that actually we want to consider the maximum which is uh, which uh, a stray, uh, word which having a maximum even word so and the initial time max length is zero so that the first time we need to check check for this also now we need to update the index index is equal to i max length is equal to str array of i dot length okay and i finally we need to mark the our this marker because we found the at least one 
if we found uh, at least one event word so means so we, uh, in that case we need to mark this marker and finally at the end of the loop i will be uh, going to check if found marker it means found then what return str array of i we already not i sorry actually i is the uh, scope of the i is limited to this for loop so that i already created one index marker index else return 0 0 yeah I am done with the coding. Let me run this code and check the output. There we go. Yeah. For the first. I'll take it. Make it uh, like minimize it. For the first time to write and the code here, time and code is the two even word which has a maximum length and time is occurring first. That's why it's written time. It is a pleasant day. It is, this is also even word, but the pleasant is also even word so that it is returning pleasant because it has a maximum length otherwise day and today is odd uh, in the third sentence today dry day all are odd that's why it's returning zero i am guarantee executing this code you will get uh, your all the test case would pass in the hacker rank so i hope you will like this video if you having any question and query please don't forget to put in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible 